Hey everybody, welcome back to Code with Vinny. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Next.js application and deploy it on Vercel step by step. Whether you're just starting out with web development or looking for an easy way to deploy your application, this is the guide for you. So a couple prerequisites. You're going to need Node.js installed, a basic knowledge of JavaScript or React, and a GitHub account, but that's about it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Next.js website, and you're just going to go ahead and copy this right here. This is a command that's going to make it easy for us to create our Next.js application. And then go ahead and open your IDE of choice. Mine is going to be VS Code. And we're just going to go ahead and paste that command in the terminal. And then we're going to go ahead and do space dot after that command. That's going to go ahead and create a Next.js application in this current directory. And it's just going to ask, of a, ask us a bunch of questions. I'm just going to hit yes on everything. It's not that big of a deal for this tutorial. And you can see it's creating our application right now. That command's gonna take a second to run, but it should look something like this once you're finished. And now we can go ahead and run the command npm run dev. And that's gonna go ahead and start our development server. Now, if we open this link on localhost 3000, let me pull this over real quick. You can see we have our Next.js app successfully running. And as you can see, Next.js points us to the Vercel website, and that's actually where we're going to want to deploy our application. But we're not quite ready to deploy our application, so let's go ahead and go to GitHub. And we're just going to go ahead and create a new repository. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this Next.js Tutorial. And let's go ahead and create our repository. And we can go ahead and just copy this command right here. Go back to our application. And I'm just going to kill the dev server and paste this command right here. Now, if we go back to GitHub, let's go and see, refresh the page. And you can see all of our code has been pushed. So now we're ready to deploy the application. So let's go to Vercel.com. And if you don't already have an account with Vercel, obviously you have to make one, but it's a pretty easy process. If you do have an account with Vercel, go ahead and click this Add New button and click Project. And if you're setting this up for the first time, Vercel might ask you to integrate with whatever Git provider you're using. I already have that set up. It's super easy as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to my Next.js tutorial and import that. So as you can see, Vercel's already detecting that this is a Next.js project. So you can see that right there. They also have a bunch of other options, but we're obviously gonna keep that as Next.js for now. We have a drop down right here for build and output settings. This is the commands that it's gonna run. We don't need to change any of that for now. Also, you can edit your environment variables right here if needed. We also don't need any of that. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit deploy. So as you can see, Vercel's deploying our Next.js application. This is just going to take a second. And just like that, we have deployed our application. So we can continue to the dashboard. And if we want to open our application, we could just hit one of these domains right here. And this is the application that we just made. So if we send this URL out to any of our friends or family, they can see the project that we're working on or even potential employers. And I'm just gonna go back here. What's really nice about Vercel and other tools that are like it is that it has continuous delivery built in. And what that means is it's watching this branch right here, in our case, master. And whenever we push changes to our master branch, Vercel is gonna automatically deploy our changes for us. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and open up our source folder and open page.tsx. And we're just going to delete everything inside the outermost div. And we're just going to go ahead and replace that with hello world. We can remove this import at the top. And that looks good to me. So let's go ahead and push our changes. So I'm just going to do git add dot and git commit dash m and I'll just make the message hello world again and then last 
git push origin master. So now that we pushed our changes, let's go back to Vercel. And it took me a little bit to get over here, but you can see the status is ready, changes one minute ago. So if I go back to that same URL that we already had open and refresh it, there we go. Our new changes have been automatically deployed. And there you have it. You should now be able to deploy your own Next.js applications with ease thanks to Vercel. So that's about it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.